Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Brandy, and this is Beautifly Bargains. I was just on a fabulous trip. My parents got married last weekend. I flew down to Newfoundland to surprise them, and it was just a perfect weekend. I did come back with some goodies. I got a little bit of jewelry. This one had a little bit more in it, but um, it's gone now. This was a little gold charm from my mom's necklace that I plan to keep. But anyways, y'all, I am a Canadian reseller on Poshmark and only Poshmark at the moment. Um, but I do uh, like to, I'm going to start doing some more stuff over here on YouTube. But uh, yeah, if there's ever anything in any of the videos that you see that you like that you need to have, just reach out to me, let me know, and I will be happy to um, get it all sorted out. And if you are new, welcome. I appreciate you being here. And then this, my friends, is a jewelry box that my aunt denise gave me that was my grandmother's and there is some little bits of pieces of jewelry in here um that we can go through together not a lot but i thought we would sort it out together anyways and uh yeah we'll go from there anyway so i'm going to just pick some of this stuff out and keep in mind this is just a lot of costume jewelry i don't think this was my nan stuff but um, there was some other pieces in here that already has been taken out. My kids got what they wanted. I don't think I'll be reselling anything, but I thought we'd have a look at what's in here together. And I think I just found gold. Oh, yeah. A bunch of little earrings in here. It's mainly fashion jewelry. I think this is just where my Aunt Denise put all of her little junk jewelry, as we call it. These do not look like anything my Nan would have worn. I'm going to dump it out because I plan to, um, I think I'm going to refinish this box and use it for um, other things that I have. Let's hold on that here's a couple more pieces now this ring came in this container this came in the jewelry box and these also came in the jewelry box so it's just a little jewelry haul to go through um, not a lot nothing special my kids also have a set of beautiful my daughter has a um, pearl necklace and bracelet set that my aunt gave to her that she's wearing and then Viola also has a necklace that she's wearing and then we also cashed in on a bunch of gold so I think we cashed in $340 worth of gold and I still have some more pieces this here is a baby locket I'm just realizing look how stinking cute that is I'm trying to open it See if there's anything in there. Oh no. How pretty is this little pin locket? Oh, I like that a lot. What do y'all think of that? And we have this tiny baby Tinkerbell. This is actually Disney by the looks of it. I can't see. Yeah, Disney. I don't think the necklace is going to be silver. But that has a cool clasp. Oh, this might be a cute little one for reselling. No stones missing. How stinking cute is that? 
I see you. And now we have these earrings. These are cute little pearl, faux pearl earrings. Wonder if there's a couple backs here that I could. Here we go. No, they're too loose. What me and you do? We'll figure that out later. <laughs> now we have this little fire truck pin, and it says Operation Engineers Local. 2004. Oh, that might have been my grandma's. Maybe, I'm not sure. Then we have another one National Union of Operating Engineers. This also may have been my grandma's. No year on that one. My grandfather was a construction worker, he was a driller. Specifically, here's another one. Ten years. Oh, so I really think this might be his. Y'all recognize these nails? I went and seen my nail tech for the first time in forever, and let's just say I was happy to see her. She did my nails before I went down to Newfoundland. And I am going to be getting them done a little more regularly. Here we go. That's a good one. Union again, Canada. Oh, these are nice. I wonder if I clean them up. I'm pretty sure these might be black. Like onyx, possibly. But well, they are pretty dirty. We gotta get them wiped up. They've been sitting in that box for a long time. Do 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 do. Here we have a gold-filled bracelet in really good condition. I call these vermeil because I feel like that's what they are, but it's definitely not gold. I did take it in to be tested, and we knew right away. And then we have this tiny little bracelet. This is sterling silver. I'll be able to put this one up for resale. You can see the 925 Italy. Really nice. I love this one. This one is beautiful. Very small. Uh, Italy on the chain right there. Italy, 925. This is not very long. This is probably a 16 inch chain. But really beautiful condition. Couple good goodies in here, couple good goodies. And then I look and I got a 10 karat gold. This one I'll be able to either cash in or um, maybe sell it on Poshmark. Because I have a, also have a gold boat that I have listed. I have been Trying to get me a jewelry jar. This is definitely my little sister's maybe that she might have wore. Definitely a millennial type situation. Pretty sure it might be from Claire's. Not sterling silver. Will definitely need to be cleaned up. But we'll see. Really dainty, really pretty. And then there's this fashion necklace. Tiny little teardrop. 
and it is not sterling silver. Again, possibly Claire's. I'm not sure if something was in there. What the deal is there? You got these cute little earrings. My hands are so dry. These are pretty. Winter is coming. Do you know how I know this? Because my skin, my hands get so dry. So these ones, my sister said, are well, my aunt. Well, she's my aunt. Technically, she's my aunt, but because my grandma raised me, she always calls me her little sister. But these were definitely my nan's. Cute little Christmas Santa Clauses. And then we got two little snowmen. And we got two more little Santa Clauses. How stinking cute are they, guys? And then we have a bunch of tiny little little studs, little crystals. Oh, this one looks could be silver. It kind of looks legit. Do I have the other one? I think I do. Here we go. These two kind of look like they could be silver. And then this little guy goes with this little guy. Very dainty. And this little guy <laughs> with this little guy. Cutesies. So we got three sets of this. This one here is a one earring wonder. And then we got lots of little baby backs. Pretty sure that thing says 10 karat gold on it. And it's really hard to get in there to see. You see that? Yeah, that little guy is 10 karat gold. <laughs> and then we have this one. So this is a really old ring. And it is gold filled. But my mom claims that it's from the 1930s, but I don't believe her. <laughs> I feel like it is um, possibly from the 80s. It's really hard to see what it says in there. Eighteen carat. You see all that? Eighteen carat. I think it says rose gold filled. Or rolled gold filled. So If it is from the 30s, I do have others similar, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you feel this ring could be from, if you think it's from the 30s. Because I have other rings similar. Let's Hang on, let me show you the one I'm comparing it to. Alright, so... Okay, so I have this ring, which is also, I believe, to be from the 30s and this one is signed on the inside 18 karat same thing so like these rings feel I feel like come from the same the same deal like the same time frame like look how close in comparison these two are but I don't know what do you guys think let me know do you think these are from the 30s so brought this one back 
This is a charm that I wore quite often, St. Christopher, when I was a teenager. This little sucker is also 10 carat. I think that's what it says. 14. And then this little guy is mauled to death. But we got some gold in them. That's a couple of pieces of gold we got. I love getting gold, y'all. I just love getting that gold. My brother and I cashed in $340 um, yesterday, and I split it with him. And then he kept a piece, I kept a piece, what we wanted, and then the rest of it went. But, uh, oh, this is the one I kept. Mm, my little C. It's my mom's initial. So, yeah, we did all right. We got a little bit of gold. I don't know what I'll do with this one. I'll probably try and sell it on Poshmark, but definitely got, I don't know, this this one here kind of messes with me because it looks like it's like, almost like a fake, but I know it's not. But different levels of gold, like if this one's 10, pretty sure this one's also 10, and then I think this one's 14, but like look at the difference, right? So yeah, I really want to know what your thoughts is on this ring. Please let me know in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. Please, I'm going to try and do a giveaway and I really want to get my subscriber game up, up, up. So yeah, please give me a like and a, and a subscribe and uh, there should be a giveaway coming soon. Either way, I love all of y'all, and I appreciate every one of you. I hope all is well, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.